What if I was HIV positive? Would I fit the description? Would my poetry captivate you, emancipate you from your curiosity, or would you just stare? Puzzle. Dissecting what sickness is supposed to look like. Young ethnic male, would I just be another Puerto Rican tale that ends with Bible scriptures? Crusadios wrapped around hands as you kiss Jesus, insisting he tend to my soul. Would the literature of my time be significant? Or would it crumble like the ends of a lit cigarette? Now what would you tell my mother as she kneels in her unwelcoming black dress, never anticipating shopping for death? Could you soothe her distress, whisper words with enough potency to distract her tears, cradle her like she was just born, sip doses of optimism into her questioning of faith? Could you stand pat, patient, quietly inviting? We tend to desensitize sex, cells, and monetary goals confuse daily importance. Our dreams become even more far-fetched like sticks and pets we chase. Vulnerable to the pack taken, mistakenly grave six feet under. This is not the chicken pox. When the straw could be cured with a scratch and a cream. When kisses on the forehead left you sleeping in peace. This is at surgery. When anesthesia fails. When you're caught in between the sub-levels of life and hell. This is like the cast to Saved by the Bell meets Freddy Krueger. This is like that graphic novel you don't read before going to sleep. This is our auto collision where everyone ends up deceased. This is humanity in a devastating epidemic with faces like mine and no visual detections. This shit is as serious as your first love cheating on you. Actually, this is like walking in on your wife having an orgy saying, fuck you, baby, you don't own me. And as nasty as that sounds, it's as real as I have to be. Because I grew up on a bodega blocks where ladies were always a premium and dealers supplied enough weed to keep all the addicts pleased, but probably never purchased a condom. Sold them to that boy who wanted to be a doctor, but he thought he was in love, so why rock one? Thinking she's a dime. A prize. So I analyze the inner lines of her secrets. I could be beneath it without asking questions. Lessons only taught by teachers. Disease would never wear a mask. As beautiful as her face. She goes to college at night, works nine to five, so why waste time getting tested? We throw ourselves into the devil's playground and expect not to fall from the swings. Convinced that it happens to adults, mid-thirties, feminine posture, homosexuals, the promiscuous women, our insecurity label sluts. But even the virgin in the white dress could be the next victim. Cause this shit is not about how big you think your dick is or how fly your swag could be. I read obituaries that no matter how hard the writer attempted to make deep had the same underlining sound. It's the same reoccurring theme of men who measure their success by their game in the sheets. Now what should I tell your mother when she's laid alongside puddles of grief? Her son fell off the monkey bars. He just couldn't land back on his feet. In all my mistakes, the only difference is God never made it me. Do I look HIV positive? Did my poetry captivate you, emancipate you from your curiosity, or did you just stare, nodding your head like, I hear what this dude is saying. But at the end of the day, I still know what sickness looks like.